Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to show you a super simple setup for shattering things apart. It's just only a few steps and so here's the basic object here. I'm just going to run the animation real quick so you can see it. And so it's reasonably convincing. It's not perfect, you know, but well, you could adjust the plane so it doesn't bounce. You know, that's easy enough under the collision field. But let's see it again. All right, but it's reasonable and it's quick to do. So I'll start from scratch like I like to do. I'll start here. I'll just put my cursor to that object. And I'll get rid of it. I'll just start new with a, with a sphere. All right, I'll scale it up a little bit. All right, so the first thing you want to do is add a particle system to the scene. I mean, this thing takes less than five minutes. All right, and I'll just leave it at a thousand particles. But what I'm going to start it, I'm going to start it, say, at frame, say, 65, and I'm going to end it at frame 66. So I want the particles to emit over the course of only one frame. And they're going to have them last for quite a bit of time, maybe a couple hundred frames. So I better crank this up a little as well, like I have down here. All right, now to make this work and look good, there's a couple things you need to do. Next thing, well, we're going to need the explode modifier, but let me get let's give it a color first all right and also down here in the particle systems though before we put that in make sure the one thing you really set is even if I don't do any of this other stuff where you tra change the randomness and the distribution this randomness underneath the velocity tab crank it up man. just crank it up that's a really important number to crank up there for random it way better than the this effect up here all right, so now with this set, let's go get an explode modifier. So to the modifiers, add and explode. And then notice here, cut edges. I always put that in there like that. All right, so let's just do a little run real quick and see if it's starting to work. All right, so it's starting, but now let me stop it here. Oh, somewhere in here, we'll go look up close at the, each shard that comes out of it. Well, if you look close, each shard is just this thin edge like this but you can change it if you add a solidify modifier as well so it makes it a solid object each of the pieces so we add a solidify modifier and then down here you can change the t thickness you can see it changing easily just like that all right all right now let's zoom back and let's run it again from the beginning And so that's pretty good. And then one thing I have down here, I have collision detection set up on the plane. Right here. All right. And then you can change either the stickiness or this damping if you want so it doesn't bounce as much like that. So, and then the last thing I want to do is, you see, when we're running this animation, it, it looks kind of weak. The explosion looks kind of weak. It doesn't shatter very well. So back into the particle system, you can crank this normal up. You know, and you can adjust this all day long. Let's just crank it up to 10. That's pretty good. And there it takes off. So you just pretty much have to time your animation then when you want it or shatter in the scene. So, and then you can just edit this as well to make some, you can see it has some reasonable effects. Let me just ex move this out in X like this. If I extrude it and make some kind of odd shape and I have all these extra faces in here, then I'll just come in here and, you know, loop cut and slide control R and just make a bunch of extra faces like that on here. And when I rerun it. So it's pretty good. All right. Well, pretty easy to do. And I uh, hope that helps with your projects. And I'll see you in the next lesson.